This is San Francisco, California. Serving a population of 4.5 million people, a network of subway and light rail lines connects this U.S. city, servicing 55 stations and 71 enhanced stops across four counties. Consisting of 14 rail lines and 168 miles of track, the system travels across the region, with trains running to various cities across the Bay Area. But how did the system grow from its original stations to the network it is today? My name's Zach, and this is the evolution of the network. San Francisco's modern light rail network began to form in August 1917, when the San Francisco Municipal Railway opened the J-Line on Church Street. Starting from 30th Street, the streetcar line ran north to Market Street, before heading east to Van Ness Avenue. Between 18th Street and 22nd Street, the line traveled on a private right-of-way, making stops at intersections along the route. The line was extended later that month, with streetcars running north on Van Ness Avenue to Pine Street. An additional line was added to the network in February 1918, running through the newly completed Twin Peaks Tunnel. Starting just south of the tunnel at St. Francis Circle, the K Line traveled on street to West Portal, before descending into the tunnel to service two underground stops at Laguna Honda and Eureka Valley. The line then resurfaced onto Market Street, following the J Line north to Pine Street. Service on both the J and K Lines were revised that June, however, with streetcars no longer traveling on Van Ness Avenue and instead continuing east along Market Street to the San Francisco Ferry Building. K Line service was extended further south in February 1919 traveling in a dedicated right-of-way along Unipro Serra Boulevard. From there, the line turned east onto Ocean Avenue, ending at Miramar Avenue. In April, the L line was launched along Terravel Street, traveling east from 33rd Avenue to connect with the K line at West Portal Station. One month later in May, the K line was extended further into Ingleside, turning south onto Brighton Avenue and ending at Grafton Avenue. L-Line service was revised four years later in January 1923, with the line being extended further west to 48th Avenue. Ten months later in October, streetcars were extended into downtown, following the K-Line through the Twin Peaks Tunnel to the ferry terminal. Laguna Honda Station in the Twin Peaks Tunnel was renamed shortly afterwards, being referred to as Forest Hill Station starting in February 1924. Streetcars on the M-Line began operations in October 1925, running as a shuttle between St. Francis Circle and the intersection of Broad Street and Plymouth Avenue. The line used a private right-of-way from St. Francis Circle into Unipro Serra Boulevard, before running in mixed traffic to Plymouth Avenue. Two years later, in October 1927, the route was also extended through the Twin Peaks Tunnel, following the other lines to the ferry terminal. However, this extension was short-lived, as service was cut back to St. Francis Circle in February 1928, only four months later. A second streetcar tunnel opened in October of that year, with streetcars on the end line beginning through the DeBose Tunnel. Running from the ferry terminal, the line traveled west on Judah Street, ending at La Playa Street. The streetcar network remained relatively similar for the following nine years, until service on the L line was revised in September 1937. At that time, Streetcars were cut back to 46th Avenue and extended south to the San Francisco Zoo at Wawona Street. The new Transbay Terminal opened for service in January 1939, providing a fixed train link across the San Francisco Bay. Municipal streetcars were revised to loop near the terminal, with every other trip on the J, K, L, and N lines being extended to the stop. Six lines on the pre-existing key system were also extended to the terminal via the Bay Bridge running to various points in Oakland and Berkeley. In August, the M line was temporarily discontinued, with service instead being provided by buses. Streetcar services to the Transbay and Ferry Terminals were revised in January 1941, simplifying their routing patterns. All streetcars on the J and L lines now ran to the Ferry Terminal, while the Transbay Terminal was now serviced exclusively by the K and N lines. In July, Key service across the bridge was revised, with the H line being discontinued and the F line being revised to travel on Shattuck Avenue. An additional stop on all key lines opened in December, with trains servicing the newly constructed Oakland Army Base. In September 1942, key lines also began stopping on Yerba Buena Island, 
providing connections to buses to the nearby Treasure Island. Streetcars on the M Line resumed in September 1944, with service being extended from St. Francis Circle to the ferry terminal. On the K Line, a new branch was added four months later in April 1945, extending service east along Ocean and Onondaga Avenues to Mission Street. Three years later, in June 1948, streetcar service to the ferry terminal was discontinued, with J, L, and M lines being rerouted to the Trans Bay Terminal. Four years later, in May 1952, the K-Line branch to Grafton Avenue was also removed, with these streetcars now turning back at the Phelan Loop, known today as the City College Terminal. K-Line service past the loop was discontinued in October of that year, simplifying operations on this part of the network. Six years later, in April 1958, key system trains made their final runs across the Bay Bridge, with the remaining five routes being replaced by buses and the remaining tracks and stations being removed. The tracks on the lower level of the bridge were removed shortly afterwards, and the former Transbay terminal platforms were converted for bus use. Streetcar service in San Francisco remained relatively static throughout the 1960s, until the launch of the first BART subway line in September 1972. Running from MacArthur Station in Oakland, the Orange Line ran south to Fremont, serving 12 newly constructed stations along the route. Later that year, Eureka Valley Station in the Twin Peaks Tunnel was also closed, in order to construct a new streetcar portal onto Market Street. Orange Line service was extended further north in January 1973, adding six new stations to Richmond. In May, a second BART line was launched, sharing tracks with the existing line from Oakland City Center to MacArthur. From there, the yellow line branched off east, adding six stations to Concord. BART service also began in San Francisco in November, with an independent line serving eight new stations from Daly City to Montgomery Street. Streetcar service on the M line was revised in September 1974, with a separated median being constructed along Judah Street. The first phase of the median started from 19th Avenue, running east two blocks to 17th Avenue. Later that month, BART service across the San Francisco Bay was inaugurated, with the Daly City to Montgomery line being extended to meet up with the Yellow Line, and a new station opening at Oakland West. The Green Line was also inaugurated at this time, serving existing stations from Daly City to Fremont. In November, the streetcar median on Judah Street was extended further east, now ending at 14th Avenue. Median construction continued into 1975, with an additional extension to 11th Avenue opening in February and the final extension to 9th Avenue opening in June. A fourth BART line was inaugurated in April 1976, providing a direct connection from Berkeley to San Francisco. Starting from Richmond, the Red Line serviced existing stations through Oakland and San Francisco, ending at Daly City. One month later in May, an infill station opened on BART in San Francisco, with trains on the green, red, and yellow lines now stopping at Embarcadero. The green and orange line station at Coliseum was renamed in July 1977, reflecting a new bus service to the nearby Oakland airport. San Francisco streetcar lines began to be modernized in April 1979, with the first sections being converted to light rail operations. At that time, light rail vehicles began operations along a section of the K-Line, which was extended east from Phelan Loop to the Balboa Park BART station. Light rail service continued to roll out into February 1980, with light rail vehicles now operating weekday service on the N-Line. As part of this change, the N line now ran underground along Market Street, with trains serving existing BART stations from Embarcadero to Civic Center, as well as a new underground station at Van Ness. The K line began running light rail trains along the full length of the route in June, including the opening of two new underground stations at Church and Castro. On the M line, streetcars were extended to Balboa Park BART station in August, providing additional connections to the system. M and L line streetcars were replaced by light rail vehicles in December 1980, following the K line underground to Embarcadero. The final line to be converted to light rail operation was the J line, which began weekday operations through the subway in June 1981. Finally, in September 1982, the final weekend streetcars ran along Market Street to the Trans Bay Terminal, 
with service being converted to light rail operations that November. Around that time, the J-Line stop at 19th Street was closed, although we were unable to confirm an exact date. On BART, the green, red, and yellow line station at Oakland West was renamed in 1987, harmonizing its name with the local neighborhood. Six years later, in June 1993, light rail service on the J-Line was extended to Balboa Park BART station, adding a new separated median between Randall Street and Glen Park Station. On the M-Line, enhanced median stations along 19th Avenue opened in October, serving race platforms at Stonestown Galleria and San Francisco State University. Two years later, in July 1995, a new rush hour BART line was opened, helping to relieve traffic pressures during a freeway interchange construction project. The line ran between Concord and Bayfair stations, eliminating the need to transfer in Oakland. Two weeks after opening, the line was extended south by two stops, now ending at South Hayward. Streetcars returned to San Francisco in September 1995 with the resumption of a route along Market Street. Starting from a surface stop outside Castro Street Station, the line ran along Market Street to the Trans Bay Terminal, serving street-level stops along the route. Four months later in December, an extension of the yellow line was opened, adding an additional station to North Concord Martinez. At the same time, Berkeley Station on the orange and red lines was renamed, now being known as Downtown Berkeley. Two additional BART extensions were opened in 1996, with a one-stop extension of the red and yellow lines opened in Tacoma in February. In December, an additional one-stop extension at the opposite end of the yellow line opened, bringing trains to the present terminus at Pittsburgh Bay Point. A fifth line of the BART network was launched in May 1997, bringing trains to two new stations in the East Bay. With this change, Rush hour service between South Hayward and Pittsburgh Bay Point was discontinued, with Blue Line trains now running from Daly City to a new station at Dublin Pleasanton. In San Francisco, a new light rail line was launched in January 1998, with trains on the E-Line linking Embarcadero to the Caltrain station at 4th and King. Service on this line was revised in August, however, with the E-Line being discontinued and the four stations on its route being serviced instead by an extension of the N-Line. Two years later, in March 2000, streetcar service on the F-Line was extended, serving a new streetcar reservation built along the Embarcadero. With this change, streetcars no longer service the Trans Bay Terminal, instead traveling along the new tracks to Fisherman's Wharf near Powell Street. In response to increased crowding on the light rail network, a new S-Line was launched in April 2001, providing increased service between Castro and Embarcadero stations. The following year, in September 2002, service to Coma BART station was revised, with the red line being cut back to Daly City and the blue line being extended in its place. A major expansion of the BART network opened in June 2003, bringing service to Millbury Caltrain Station and the San Francisco International Airport. Trains on the yellow line were extended to service Millbury, while trains on the blue line were extended to the San Francisco airport, serving two new stations each en route. A new purple line was also launched between Millbury and SFO, providing a direct link between the two stops. However, this service pattern was revised shortly afterwards in February 2004, with the purple line being discontinued. In its place, red line trains were extended to SFO via Millbury, while trains on the yellow line were revised to also service SFO. The blue line was cut back to Daly City at this time, reducing service on this section of the network. Later that year in September, routing on the red line was revised once again, with trains now traveling in the opposite direction between SFO and Millbury. Civic Center Station on the Light Rail and BART network was renamed in June 2005, commemorating the 60th anniversary of the United Nations. In September, an additional round of changes were undertaken, when yellow and red line services were cut back to Daly City and replaced by an extension of the blue line to Millbury. A new light rail line launched in San Francisco in January 2007, the first major expansion to the network since its opening. A new T-Line was introduced, running from Castro Street Station to 4th and King Street on the M-Line. From there, the route traveled south along a newly constructed median, serving 17 new stations to Sunnydale. Service levels on this route were enhanced in April of that year, 
with the S line being discontinued and the N line being cut back to Embarcadero. However, only two months later in June, these changes were reversed and trains on the T and K lines were interlined. Guard service to Millbury and SFO was revised once again in January 2008, with the blue line no longer servicing SFO. Yellow line service was extended from Daly City to the airport, while red line trains provided supplementary service to Millbury. Later that year, the orange, red, and yellow line station at Oakland City Center was renamed, placing more prominence on its 12th Street location. Blue line service to Millbrae was withdrawn in September 2009, with the yellow line being extended from SFO in its place. One year later in September 2010, the yellow line station at Pleasant Hill was renamed to include the Contra Costa Center, a new transit village constructed adjacent to the stop. An infill station was added to the blue line in February 2011, with trains now stopping at West Dublin Pleasanton. Two years later, in October 2013, Trains on the S line were extended to St. Francis Circle, adding additional service on this section of the network. A new BART line launched in November 2014, providing direct service between Coliseum BART Station and the Oakland Airport. With its opening, Coliseum Oakland Airport Station on the blue, green, and orange lines was renamed, with the name reverting back to Coliseum. A second streetcar line launched in April 2016, providing additional service along the Embarcadero. Starting from the Caltrain station at 4th and King, the line traveled along existing tracks to Fisherman's Wharf at Powell Street, stopped at existing stations along the route. In November, service on the S line was cut back to West Portal, improving service reliability. BART service on the green and orange lines was extended south from Fremont in March 2017, adding an additional station at Warm Springs. A new BART line was launched in May 2018, connecting with the yellow line east of Pittsburgh Baypoint Station at a specially constructed platform. The new Eat BART service ran to Antioch, serving a new intermediate station at Pittsburgh Center. Ten years after the last change, BART service to Millbury and SFO was revised in February 2019, with the reintroduction of the purple line between SFO and Millbury. In May, the T-Line station at UCSF Mission Bay was renamed now referencing the nearby Chase Center Arena. Yellow Line service to Millbrae was discontinued in February 2020, with service on the Purple Line being increased as a result. One month later in March, the E-Line streetcar was suspended, as a result of low ridership caused by the COVID-19 pandemic. In June, BART service on the Green and Orange Line was extended into San Jose, adding two more stations at Milpitas and Berryessa North San Jose. At Milpitas, connections are provided to San Jose's light rail network, which began servicing the stop in June 2004. If you haven't already, you can watch our video on the evolution of San Jose's light rail network by clicking the button in the top right corner. Bus Rapid Transit launched in the Bay Area in August 2020, with tempo service beginning in Oakland. Running between 19th Street Oakland and San Leandro stations, the route included median lanes in stations along most sections with buses running in mixed traffic at the outer ends. Finally, in August 2021, the purple line between Millbury and SFO was discontinued, with the red line being extended to SFO in its place. This brings us to the San Francisco subway and light rail map that we know today. In the years to come, various extensions are planned for the BART and Muni networks, which will see new lines and stations open across the Bay Area. In spring 2022, a new bus rapid transit route will begin in San Francisco, connecting with Muni services at Van Ness Station. Running in the median of Van Ness Avenue, buses will service eight enhanced stops north to Union, speeding up travel times along the corridor. At the same time, a new subway will launch on the T-Line adding additional stations between downtown and the Caltrain station at 4th and King. The revised T-Line will service four new stations north to Chinatown, including interchange with the Muni and BART services at Powell Street. With this extension, T-Line service will no longer interline with the K-Line, 
and T-Line service from 4th and King to West Portal will be discontinued. That was the evolution of San Francisco subway and light rail network, giving us the 14 lines that we know today. If you haven't already, be sure to watch our video on the evolution of San Francisco and San Jose's commuter rail network, which you can access by clicking the button in the top right corner. Don't forget to leave a like if you enjoyed this video, and comment down below to join in the discussion. My name's Zach, and I'll be Vanishing Underground, until the next one.